and I think she's cute. So I just threw this on. Sometimes I just want to be comfortable and I just want to feel like, oh, I didn't want anything tight on me or anything like that. So I just threw this on. But baby, I know like I told you in the last video, uh, how some people, I'm just not for everybody and I'm not and I have to learn to accept that. But the gag is, honey, the gag. Oh, my lips are dry. There was a student that came in yesterday and I looked at him, I was like, your lips are dry. <laughs> I was like, your lips dry? And I'm on the one talking. I said, come on, come on, come on, come on with me, come on. I gave him some of my aquaphor. <laughs> And I was like, don't worry about it. I need some too. So, and let me tell you, he put that on his lips. They they look like brand new lips. I mean, they were dry, dry. Where it looked like eczema dry. And I was like, uh-uh. I said, come on with me. We're going to fix this. Come on. And he put it on there and was chewing his gum. He ain't taking offense. Let me tell you, when somebody trying to help you out, and they trying to help you out, you can't take offense to that. It is what it is. They helping you out. Or if your edge is looking crispy and you got some edge control, girl, you know I got edge control in my bag, right? Go on to the bathroom. Now, I haven't said that one before. But, you know, people be getting in their feelings and stuff. Anyway, bye. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to be the real friend, okay? Because I'm going to tell you, if you're not looking right, I'm going to let you know. Okay, it is what it is. Would you rather me not? So anyway, let me tell you the gag, Hold on. This is the gag. Remember I told you about Bay Daddy, right? So we're just friends now. Just, just friends. Um, of course, certain people would like it to be more, but a lot of stuff happened. But. I, I did miss them as a friend because, you know, we would laugh all the time, all the time. So, anyway, the gag is things that I was saying. And remember, we didn't break up because of Bay Daddy at all. It wasn't Bay Daddy. It was the other. And I got permission. I asked if I could talk about this. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But I did get, I said, you mind if I talk about it? They was like, okay. So I did, you know, because some people don't want whatever. Even in my last relationship, I didn't, I didn't go into detail. We just broke up. Um, I, I only, yeah, I can't. And it wasn't anything bad with my last relationship either. But anyway, back to Bay Daddy. But baby, the gag is... Like I said, it wasn't Bay Daddy. There were certain things that happened where feelings, you know, sometimes when you get so angry, not me, you say things that's out of character. But sometimes I feel like that when you show me who you are, believe me the first time, but things happened after the breakup. Because, you know, some things you can't take back what you say when you're angry. But that's, it, that wasn't the cause for the break. You know what I mean? Am I making sense? Okay, but the gag was, I was saying things in the relationship that nobody wanted to listen to me. So, you know... So when, when Bay Daddy moved to town, um, you know, they moved in with me, with their child, and the, the mother, the mother followed along because the mother is very close, but the mother got their own place. And so there were certain things that was happening and taking place in the home that just didn't resonate with my spirit. So... You know, and I know teenagers can be hard, you know, teenagers can be hard, you know, they go through a lot of stuff. Not, 
I don't know how to say it, but you know, but you know, sometimes when you blend in the family, it can be it can be difficult. Okay, it can be difficult. Um, so it was like it was like. It was like I didn't exist, so my family didn't exist, and no, and they and they didn't talk to us. But they probably have their own feelings. But it's like when you try, 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 you be like, okay, I'm over it. And I feel like, you know, when you in somebody's home, it's respectful to, to speak. Hello, good morning, how's your day? You know, basic stuff. I ain't say we have to be best friends, but I guess that type of relationship was never built. And it seemed like the longer they stayed, the more, uh, what is the word, reclusive? Um, the more aloof or the more um, introverted they became where they just, Stayed in the room, ate in the room. I don't know, they could have been cooking in the room, I don't know. But they just stayed, you know, in that room. And the room was uh, created like, like a dorm room. A refrigerator, coffee pot. So it was created where you don't have to come out. And you know, so they never really accessed the kitchen, just stayed in a room and would go and come and wouldn't speak. And after a while, I'm just like, okay, I can match energy real good. And it just didn't resonate with my spirit because I don't want to be in, in a home or any situation where someone else is feeling uncomfortable or I'm feeling uncomfortable. And it wasn't a matter well, they're not saying anything, they're not doing anything. No, but you're still in the home and it's an uncomfortable feeling. And I, I, maybe you don't agree, felt like it was disrespectful, you know, for someone to be in your home and not speak. So it was a lot of that, but sometimes parents and being a teacher, they're blind to certain things and they think that there's nothing wrong with certain things that their children do. So it just, it just, it just, uh, just didn't resonate with my spirit. And I'm at an age, and my bell is about to ring. So I'm at an age and based on all the experiences I've been through, I have a choice not to surround myself with anyone, even if it's my own child, that makes me feel uncomfortable, disrespected, um, invisible. I'm not invisible. Um, it could be a, a mutual respect. So I know somebody gonna come knocking on this door because they let the kids in. Um, so it just it just didn't resonate. Outside of that, you know, I felt this always disrespectful. Maybe that would have been okay with you, but it just didn't sit well with me. And so when I knew that it was time to, you know, to move, I just said, no, you know, maybe you go your way, I go mine. But you know, we can still be together because even in my last relationship, um, their teen was going through a lot. They had two sons. They were going through a lot. And, woo, and I was like, I didn't want to expose my children. Now, this was on a different level, and I didn't want to expose my children to that. So we just agreed that you live over there, we live over here, but we still be together. And we did that for almost 10 years as the children went through their transitions. You know, and sometimes teens, they go through that transition phase. And I knew if I said no for 10 years, why would I now put myself in another situation where I'm feeling uncomfortable, especially in my own home? And, you know, when I was like, when the lease is up, I think we need to just... So maybe they'll feel, the, the daughter feel comfortable, and then my children and I feel comfortable. So then that's when it blew up. I guess they were hurt or whatever. I guess my daddy's really hurt by that, but I'm like, no, we'll still be together. But I think th there was a snap, and it just um, it just went downhill from there. 
And so now the mother, the mother hates me. I'm assuming the daughter hates me too, but it, sometimes it's good to separate in order to, to be together in a healthy way. And then when everybody grows up, then you, you get back to get, you know? So, yeah. So, this, oof. and then the mother, she can't stand me. I'm like, yeah, because I'm just a horrible, horrible person. And I think they were jealous of all the time we spent together. We laughed all the time. Like, you crying tears, laugh, like daily. And um, I think, they were, they felt left out because we were together. So I don't know, I think there was a little resentment, a little like they're losing. So I felt as though, instead of feeling like you're losing um, a family member, you be gaining a daughter, another, you know, you be gaining a daughter, not losing. So, but I, you know, that, that takes, different mindset, different type of thinking and rationalizing things. And so now I'm just the hated lady where everybody hates me. <sighs> well, that's the gag girl. So I'm on everybody's hate list. <laughs> But it is what it is. You can go ahead and hate me, but at the end of the day, my peace of mind and uh, having um, what's up? so my peace of mind is worth more than putting myself in a situation where I feel uncomfortable. I live with that with the kid's dad, and it was it wasn't it wasn't good. It wasn't good. The you know the mental abuse and stuff like that. So I'm at an age. I'm like I don't gotta put up with that from anybody. And if it means I gotta lose you because you don't understand how I feel about me and my worth and my peace of mind, then it is what it is. But at the end of the day, it had nothing to do with Bay, with Bay Daddy. It was the things that came with. And of course, you know, you know, Bay Daddy wants to stick by their 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 child, and I can understand that too. So, and I could I get that. Um, but you know, and with later developments, now they're seeing certain things that I've been saying um, on, on different things. So that's the tea. So I didn't then, you know, deal with stuff at work and people have an attitude. So, you know, that's why I stay in my room. But then when I think I'm, I'm getting closer or friends with somebody and like somebody told me, everybody's not your friend and um, everybody doesn't, won't accept my playful nature and that you know i'm just sometimes i feel like like oh, la 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 and sometimes i feel like that but everyone i guess don't like the joy don't like the com the, 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 the the comedian in me and the funny girl i'm not for everybody because some people take offense and so one girl i was like oh so if you feel that way then we don't need we can never be friends because if you're not accepting me for me and it's just who i am then we can't be friends and baby <laughs> they stop coming around good thank you Thank you, because I don't want to have to filter everything I say. You either love me or you don't. And just like my sister teacher, Miss Anderson, she's um, yeah, she just became an ordained minister. And sometimes I, a curse word will come out. I'm like, look, you got to accept me for me just like I accept you for you and Jesus and stuff. Okay? <laughs> and never pass judgment on me. Ever, 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 ever. Because I, I'm me. And so if you don't love me for me and that comes with respect and blah, 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 and just allow me to sometimes things just like I'm like, little boy, child, those lips, come on. Someone else will get offended by that. Oh, well, 
I don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth, but it's all in love. And he sat down at my desk, cause you know, there's a little seating, and chewing his gum and doing his work. He was just happy. And we were both putting stuff on our lips, okay? So, everybody, I guess, won't be able to take that. But it's always in love and smiling. It's never in malice. And well, that's never my intention. And in my heart, that's never what I mean. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that tea. I have more news coming. A sister is tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I started my hair. I got home, or I've been getting home. This hair, I've been like, mm-mm, I can't. I can't. So I have this, this back part to do I I just I just go home I'm tired sometimes I get home at 10 at night and then I got a shower then I gotta pack stuff it, it, it's just a lot so with that said send some love to your girl drop a comment below and uh, I love you and thank you for um, always accepting me for me because you know I'm not perfect um, but I do reflect on some things that I do, some things that I say. <laughs> you just gotta love me for who I am. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me think. let me get up out of here. Uh, I am not ready for the day, but it is what it is. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.